Here we go now, fellas. Here we go. Something a bit different. We've got the Wolf of the Willows XPA. Extra Pale Ale, only 4.7%. And the can is only 3.55. You're kidding. Here's a big step off the high horse. Drinking these beers. You're kidding. Anyway, I just thought I'd have something a bit different. Cheers, guys. I went to the docks yesterday. He reckons I've got a uh, oxygen blood level of 94%. Is that good? Cheers, guys. He seems more worried than me. He put me on all these fucking steroids and penicillin. <sighs> I'm just having beers, canes, you name it. Just fucking kicking back, trying to be relaxed. I'm not taking any steroids, fuck that shit. She's not too bad. Been drinking a few XBAs at the bowling club. The bolters. This one's actually got a bit of flavour. Nah, yeah, not bad. 4.7%. I, I reckon I'd have a few of these at the pub if they're on tap or selling them. Probably have a few more if they're in a bigger can. You're kidding. Anyway, so I've been working with asbestos lately. So I've got a bit of a lung infection. Got my channel shut down, that didn't help. Been stressing out over a few other <laughs> bits and bobs. You're fucking kidding. Yeah, just little things I've been stressing out about, like how I can over overtake evil in the world, how we can take them down all around the world, all the evil. And, you know, not taking on anything of any great responsibility, you know, like trying to reiki the whole earth and heal everything, you know, just doing those things that you, you just do every day, the normal thing, you know, formulate plans how to take over the world, dispel evil, Expose the truth. Just little things, you know. Like, I thought I was handling it all right. And then, uh, you know, I was working with this asbestos insulation at my mate's house, giving him a chip out on Saturday about a week and a half ago. And he, his wife comes up and says, oh, I just got out of hospital, waiting pneumonia. And I thought, oh, that's nice. I just kissed you on the cheek. So the doctor doesn't know I've forgotten pneumonia. He's not sure. He wants me to go back. Uh, I thought I'd go back. Anyway, I'm just doing what I do. I'm not going to change anything. But the pneumonia, you're fucking kidding me. Is that bad though? 94% oxygen in your blood? I walked about five kilometres yesterday. Can you believe that? Eight downlights later, I go to the doctor's and he goes, um, yeah, you're not doing real well. And I'm chatting to him like fucking I'm fine. He goes, oh, you're a bit wheezy. Sounds like you've got a bit of um, asthma. I go, it's not asthma. It's more of an, a fucking toxic, asbestos ridden fucking infection in my lungs mate so anyway that'll be my last beer for the day I've had a couple of strongies already I'll get on the whiskies now I reckon they'll kill the virus and the fucking asbestos so if I don't die from um, talking 
too much, you get knocked out by the CIA or the FBI or some other group. <laughs> the Aussies, they'll kill me. Me own. You're kidding, talking too much. Spreading the truth. Taking on too much. I said it to the message today, I've just taken on too much. Yeah, I've made like three new veggie gardens. <laughs> yeah, trying to fix up the property, doing it, you know, down lights inside, new lights. I just bought a whole new bang of down lights and other lights to do here. I just can't help myself, you know. It's like every day I I work like probably eight to twelve hours on the property every day. No reward, got no money, no money off any jobs, no money off the government, no money. It's just go hard and just work yourself into the ground. I'm nearly sixty and I'm fucking doing like seventy two hour weeks at least. And I'm digging holes, I'm fucking overturning soil, I'm pulling trees out, I'm chainsawing, you fucking name it. I'm redoing the roof. I'm renovating the whole roof. Um, yeah, I'm just, I've just overdone it, I reckon. And I reckon if I push it a little bit further, I won't have to fucking watch the world rot to fucking death. With all these fucking evil cunts running the place, you're fucking kidding. Anyway, that's what I was just thinking about. And that's why I'm sick, because I haven't had a rest. Haven't had a holiday for five fucking years. I've got no fucking teeth. Well, I've got plenty of teeth, but I just had one pulled out, I can't talk properly it's like you know when you got a gap in your teeth it's like everything sounds different yeah anyway i've got to get that fixed i've got to get this fixed i've got to fix that I've got to fix fucking everything been cooking three meals a day here cooking for the family you know fucking you name it it doesn't fucking stop so i'm gonna have a rest for a while I'm going to have a couple of days off, so I'm just going to have a few bevies. No, well, I'm not going to watch videos that get me angry. Alright, so I'm going off the YouTube for like three, four days. I'm just not going to look at anything. Fuck it. I need a rest from uh, tackling the big problems on my own. As long as I don't know one else fucking... Gives a fuck. They're just watching the world rot around and run by fucking corruption. Like, it was alright there for a little while, but one guy paid a thousand bucks for a hundred fucking litres of diesel the other day. And that's why the whole world's going to go to shit because you won't be able to pay for the fuel. And there was a video out the other day, it's a classic, they put some poison in the petrol and then all the planes and the cars stopped working. So everything just stopped working. You know, that, that stopped the oil industry, everything just stopped. You know, all the planes fell out of the sky. What a great movie. That'll happen, for sure. I always tell you what's going to happen, that's the weirdest thing. They always tell you, you know, Simpsons, they said Trump was going to be in power and then not long after that they had these voting machines where Homer kept voting and they kept coming out with the opposite person that he voted for. He did it twice, so he voted twice for the opposite bloke, but you couldn't vote for the proper bloke once. Yeah, and, and that's all come out now, there's... Rigged voting machines, there's... Yeah, they just tell you. You'll be told Twin Shout, Twin Towers? I think they were in The Simpsons as well. Um, they tell you what's going to happen. But that's what's really weird. It's like, am I the only one picking up on it? Or is everyone picking up on all this shit and we're not sharing it? Or are we all just going down the gurgler together? Quietly happy. Well, 
horribly fucking heartbroken. Watching the world disintegrate around our fucking feet. Kidding. Anyway, the XBA, not a bad one. Wolf of the Willows, thanks for that. There's another video, probably get me fucking wiped out. Anyway, I don't give a toss anymore. Really? <sighs> what happens is, in the end, they get rid of us people, you know? Like, I've got a huge audience. I've got access to maybe 30 views a video. All right. So I've got 30 people in the world watching me and they're going to ban my videos. So if they do that to me, what's that make me do? That drives me underground and what's that make me do? Get stronger, more organised and focused on destroying them that have destroyed me. It's tip for tat. If you do it for nothing, for sharing the truth, you're on the side of evil, I'm going to destroy you, like all the rest of the evil. You're all fucked. If you're evil, you're fucked. We're going to destroy you. Simple. There's no fucking this or that. You're either with me, and we destroy evil, or you're with evil. What do you want to do? Which side are you on, cunt? You're on the evil, or you're on the good side? We're going to go out there and expose the truth and if it destroys the evil that's why we're doing it thanks for coming